All right, chopper heads. I promised you guys a video. Uh, I'm hoping you can see this up here um, of this new motor I was going to try out. Uh, it's a 3S 5800 kV motor, plug and play, no castle changes needed. Uh, it's supposed to be a drop in replacement for the uh, regular blade stock motor. So that's exactly how it's set up. Also, it's uh, six poles. So I went ahead and uh, had a nice little pack of email messages and stuff that came through. So in either case, I uh, went ahead and got my order in and it got me some pretty cool link stuff while I was at it. So um, in either case, this is uh, a new motor. So I'm going to try this out and I'm going to let you guys see what you think about it. Um, if you're interested, just look at my video. I'll have all the details of, you know, as much information as I can give you about it. And, uh, you know, where you can pick one up from if you're interested. You know, I don't, I don't try to sell this stuff. I just go out there, test it, and I just put out my reviews as to what I think about it. Um, it has no branding, no name no manufacturer or anything like that you know and I, again I'll, I'll give you all the specifics on that so let's go ahead and see what we got going here uh, see what we got radios good to go throttle hold alright we're good so you know once again I'm gonna go ahead and roll with my little new canopy here for ventilation and uh, earlier I uh, was just kind of doing some checking around and on the chopper and noticed that my um, main block bearings were kind of beat up so I replaced those as well so here we go with the maiden flight of this new motor let's see what we got and uh, wish me luck Live action. All right, we got normal there. We got a little breeze out, not bad. Not too. Yeah, I got a little wag. I'll get that out. That's not a big deal. Let you guys look at it a little bit here. These yellow blades are great, but they're kind of invisible. You know, I guess it's background. Get a little flying going on and see how we uh, work out here. Like I said, I'm gonna try to keep this thing a little visible for you guys. Hoping I'm getting all of this. All right. Uh oh, got a little wobble there. Might have to make a few adjustments, but uh, everything else seems to be okay. I'm really gonna have to make some changes on these uh look pretty good. between them poles over there see if we can get some 
fast forward here. Getting a little oscillation there. Sure as hell hangs. I'll get those oscillations. I gotta knock some, I'm gonna knock those PID numbers down and uh, get that ironed out. But other than that, it seems okay. We'll give it a review here in a minute. All right, you guys saw it for yourself. You gotta make your own decisions as to what you wanna do. Let's go up here and do a few other little things and see what we got going here. Uh, first thing I want to check is I want to check the temperature of this battery. I don't have anything that I can uh, really do outside of. Just kind of put my fingers on it, but uh, oh, it's fine. Yeah. Probably about the same temperature as the regular stock battery. I mean, I don't see it any hotter or anything like that. So, maybe I'll level that out a little bit more. But uh, other than that, it was well, cooling off already. Um, there you have it, you know. Leave your thoughts, leave your comments in the uh, video. Rate it if you would. Let me know what you think. And uh, if you're interested, like I said, I'll just put the information out there. And you make a move uh, as to how you see fit. Okay, thanks again, guys. Take care. 3D Lee, I'm out.